we abuse land because we regard it as a commodity belonging to us. When we see land as a community which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. That was a quote from Aldo Leopold, who's the father of modern wildlife management, and he's actually from here. You guys knew that. So it's a local guy. Um, we will be affected by wildlife management one way or another in the long run, because the less we take care of our land and the animals on it, the less resources we'll have to survive, including like food and medicines. In order to keep the animals alive, including humans, we need to start taking into consideration wildlife management and land conservation. Wildlife includes all living or organisms out of the direct control of man, including undomesticated or cultivated plants and animals. Wildlife management is the art and science of reaching goals by manipulating or maintaining wildlife habits and populations. Wildlife management is a combination of a few things. For example, keeping the population down so that animals and plants don't overpopulate and eventually make themselves go extinct, like dinosaurs. We also need to keep enough land for the wildlife to survive on. There are many plants where we need to start doing some kind of wildlife management where any animals live or spend a lot of free time or a lot of time. We also need to stop and manage forest destruction throughout the world so there is still land for the animals to be in. Um, near urban areas too, because if we start expanding into the rural areas, then we're taking more land away from the animals and plants. It's important that we do something with wildlife management so that the animals don't go extinct. They could go extinct if we let them overpopulate and start running out of the resources. Um, we need hunters and trappers around so they can ironically save the animals' lives, like keep the population down so they don't overpopulate. And there needs to be enough land to support all the animals. Otherwise, the animals will just run out of the resources and eventually starve to death. Also, it is important that private landowners keep their land safe with enough resources for the animals to survive on, because just the safe public land and nature conservatories is not going to be enough for the animals to support. As humans, there's a lot we can do. We can help manage the population by hunting and not getting too greedy, just taking the amount of resources that we need and follow the big limit laws, which are set by the DNR. With the support of hunters, current populations of game species have been restored to abundant levels. Populations now provide the foundation for millions of days of hunting recreation, millions of pounds of high quality food, and billions of dollars in economic activity. That was from the Wildlife Management Institute in Minnesota. Trapping is another way we can use. We can use the safe traps to keep the animals alive and just relocate them to a different place where the animals have enough resources. So if you don't want to hunt and kill the animals, you can set up traps. Let's move them. Also, we can help the habitat by leaving the forest alone so we can take better care of our land, so like stop forest destruction. Uh, another way is to get rid of the invasive species to try to keep the land in the best condition for the animals that are native to it. In conclusion, wildlife management is important to all of us because if we do not start managing the wildlife, all of our resources will start to die out so we lose food and medicine and other things that we use the resources for. And then here's a picture I found on a website and it's just saying from the Gulf Oil, the BP Gulf spill, there was 756 dead birds, 585 were oiled but are still alive, and 40 were actually cleaned and released. There was 333 dead sea turtles, oiled but alive, 50 cleaned and released, three. Dead mammals, 39, zero, oiled but alive, and zero clean and released. So that's just saying like we need to be prepared for stuff like that. So.